Hello friends and strangers. I feel like this video probably is gonna attract some new viewers, so welcome to my channel. My name is Ashley. I talk about spirituality, personal development. I do some um, just fun, mindless content as well. I like to cook, I do it all, so welcome. Today, I am talking about why I chose to get off my medication. If you watch my video on Ciprolex, Lexapro, Acelatopram, whatever you wanna call it, I did a video where I pretty much logged my entire journey with Ciprolex and I talked about why I got on it, what it was like getting on, I documented the first like few months of it, I did an update, I talked about the side effects. If you wanna know about the drug and my own personal experience with it, check out that video. If you wanna know why I chose to get off the medication, keep on watching. Okay, so I wrote down some notes. That's just water. Sorry about this ring in the screen, by the way. It's probably so distracting because even in the viewfinder, I'm looking at it and I hate it. What can we do with that? Ah, okay, okay, perfect. I wrote down some notes because I didn't want to forget to talk about anything, some questions I had for myself. So the medication I was on was Ciprolex. That's the brand I was on, but it also can be referred to as Lexapro. That's a different brand, but the drug itself is called Escilatopram, Escilatopram. I don't know how to say it. I was on 10 milligrams of Ciprolex, okay? I started off with five and then I brought it up to 10. Again, that's all discussed in the first video. So, I was on 10 milligrams for nine months or so. I literally just got off about a month ago. And oh my God, it has been a ride. We're gonna talk about that. But first I wanna talk about why I got off the medication because I find that a lot of people I talk to about this drug experienced something similar and I experienced it a few times on this drug so what I was feeling after about nine to ten months on this drug was melancholy I found the perfect word for it melancholy it's like I'm happy but I'm sad you know what I mean it's like overall I look happy I seem happy things make me happy but I'm sad. I had this like looming sadness over my head and this didn't start until like seven to eight months in. Um, it slowly kicked in and I just felt like every day was just the same day over and over again. I felt this weird sadness in the morning. I just kind of woke up and just felt like, hmm, I guess I'll just like do another day again. And it's just blah, I just felt dull. I felt nothing. I felt nothing. Uh, I wasn't crying. I wasn't joyful, I wasn't excited, I was just there. Like, I, And this is only 10 milligrams, you know? I was, I mean, it felt better than being sad and it felt better than being extremely anxious, for sure. If you're going through depression, listen, I'm not a doctor, I don't wanna recommend anything, but if you're going through depression, I'm sure that like feeling nothing or melancholy is way better than feeling like depression. But the thing is I wasn't depressed. I was sad when I got on it because I was going through a heartbreak, but I was also really anxious. And that's why I got on it, it was mostly anxiety. But through this time, I've worked on my anxiety and my social anxiety so much, and that's the main reason I was on the drug. So I was like, you know what? I'm feeling this weird, blah, dull melancholy, and um, I just kind of want to feel like a human again. And if that means I'm a little more anxious, that's okay, because I've worked on myself so much this year, especially socially. I don't feel like I need the drug anymore to interact with other humans, which I don't, we'll get there. So after feeling like a robot for however many months, I talked to my therapist and I was like, I'm thinking of getting off. I kind of want to be a human again. I want to have emotions again. I want to cry. I want to feel excited. I want to feel scared. I want to feel angry. Like I'm telling you, I was like, I was emotionless, the only feeling I felt was that weird sadness. And I think the sadness came from not feeling. I was like, uh, I guess I'll just like wake up. I guess I'll just do this. I guess I'll just blah, blah, blah. It was just like the same thing over and over and over again. And I was tired, man. I was tired. I just wanted to feel. So again, I talked to my therapist. We cut it down to five milligrams for two weeks and then 2.5 for a week and then zero. So I've officially been off off the medication for, oh my God, a month. Alexa, what's the date today? Today is Monday 14th of March. It's been exactly a month. I got off the day before my birthday. That was the day that I had not taken any pill for the first time, not a half, not a 2.5, so it's been a month. So that's why I got off. Let's get into what it was like getting off. It was uh, a lot. 
um, cutting down to five milligrams, I didn't feel much. The only thing I felt was like, I don't know, I felt a little more anxiety. I was also overthinking my feelings. I was like, am I gonna feel this? What am I gonna feel? Like I was so aware of the fact that I was getting off the drug. Part of it, I feel like was placebo. It was like me getting in my head, expecting to feel. So I was like overanalyzing everything that was going on. Um, but on top of that, I started to feel my anxiety creep back in and that scared me because I was like, oh my god, this is on five milligrams. What's going to happen when I go back down to zero? Is my anxiety going to get worse? Like what's going to happen? I was so scared because like I felt my anxiety creeping back in. For example, my paranoia was like non-existent on Ciprolex. Now I deal with it on the daily. Um, and that's something that I'm struggling with. That's my biggest struggle, it's my paranoia. My anxiety is getting better. My social anxiety is like non-existent, which is so crazy. Oh my God, like, oh my God, like 13 year old me would not believe that I didn't have social anxiety. 20 year old me wouldn't believe. It. I just, I've, I've really done the work in the past year and I have a video on it if you wanna check it out on social anxiety and how to like get rid of it. But anyways, um, yeah. So like I felt my paranoia creep back in and I was scared because I was like, oh my God, I don't want to live like this anymore. I don't want to live like this. And I contemplated getting back on, but I was like, no, I'm going to stick it out for at least three months and then make the choice. So I continued getting off. I started to feel weird. I started to feel extremely irritable. Oh my God. I had to warn my cousin. She's my roommate. Listen, if I go off at you, disengage. Do not entertain it. Do not listen to me. I am sorry in advance. And I would be pissy. I would be so mad. I remember, oh my god. So the day I actually got off was uh, Valentine's Day, right? My birthday's the day after. She told me she wasn't coming home. So I mentally prepared myself to be alone all night. I was ready to be alone. I was watching The Bachelor. I ordered pad thai. I was sitting down watching my show, eating, just so happy to be alone because she said she's coming home on my birthday, which is the 15th. Little did I know she meant midnight. So it's the 14th. I'm thinking I get to go to bed, I wake up, you know I have three hours to myself and then she's home. This bitch walks in at like 12.30 at night. It still felt like the 14th to me. So I'm like, what are you doing here? And she's like, I told you I'd come back for your birthday. And I was like, what? She's like, I told you I'd come back for your birthday. I'm like, what do you mean? It's midnight, why are you here? I was so mad, as if she didn't pay rent to live here. I was so mad at her. And she's like, oh, happy birthday. And I was like, Thank you. I was so pissed off. Looking back, I don't know why I cared. I wasn't doing anything. It's not like I was masturbating. <laughs> it's not like I was like singing at the top of my lungs naked. You know, like I was just sitting and watching The Bachelor with my food in my hand. Like I wasn't doing anything weird. I just was mad. I was mad. And then I was like, oh. Why am I so mad? The next day I woke up, the first thing I said, I'm so sorry about last night. I don't know why I was, oh, and then after, sorry, after that, I left the living room and I went to my room and I closed the door because I wanted to be alone. I don't know why, I don't know why. So yeah, I apologized the next morning. I was like, I'm so sorry. I'm still irritable because of the medication. I don't know what came over me. I was pissed off. She was fine with it. She was like so chill about it, thank God. Cause I was an asshole. I was just like so embarrassed like that I acted that way, but I'm telling you, I was so, so, so irritable. I was so mad. Everything was making me mad. To this day, I'm still dealing with that. It's only been a month, right? So I think it's still flushing itself out of my system. I'm still irritable. I'm on edge sometimes. Um, even today, I was trying to merge on the highway and somebody like wasn't letting me in. I was so angry and had to go, relax, Ashley. Just go in the next opening. Just drive through in the next opening. That was a big thing. The next thing I dealt with was I was overly emotional. It's like, I was numb, I was a robot, and suddenly I'm hit with a wave of emotions. Not only that, but I was getting off the medication. I started my period and there was a full moon. It was a lot at once. I was very emotional, I was crying over everything. Uh, I still kind of am. I cry a lot more now. I, I happy, I'm happy to cry. Like, I like crying again because I wasn't crying at all. And I'm an emotional person, so for, to have that back is, weird but also like refreshing i kind of love it so yeah I'm, i mean i don't love it all the time last night i was really sad so i'm feeling things again i'm crying again but the first three weeks was just non-stop crying non-stop anger non-stop irritability it was just too much i won't lie it was too much i was crying about everything i was watching tv and i was start bawling i was bawling my eyes out of the bachelor 
all the time. I mean, I love, how many times have I mentioned that show? I love The Bachelor, but like, I don't normally cry that much over it. Like, what the hell? Like, I was crying so much. Clayton went on a cute little date and I was like, that was so beautiful. I just want that. Like, it was crazy. Like, I was listening to Big Sean's verse with Queen Nyjah. He has a song called Hate Our Love with Queen Nyjah. And he rapped about Janae Aiko. And I was like, it's so beautiful. And then I played it for Brenda because it was like so cute. Um, it was just a mess. So yeah, you're gonna feel overly emotional. That's, sorry, I went off on a long tangent, but it's, it's a big part of getting off the drug. So now that I'm off, some things that I like. Okay, I'm human again. That's great. I have my libido back. That's great. I feel things again. Wonderful. I can drink again. <laughs> Beautiful, <laughs> beautiful. I can drink without getting sick. I love that for me, I do. Some of the negatives, I'm paranoid again, I am. And it sucks. I'm trying to work through that in therapy. I just have like this weird paranoia. I don't know where it comes from. It's quite irrational and that's why it bugs me. Had I gone through something traumatic to cause the paranoia, I would give myself more grace. I would be more patient with myself. But my paranoia is extremely irrational, so that's been something I've been dealing with. Uh, my anxiety has crept back up a little bit, but it's not too bad. Um, and I guess like, I don't move through life as like confident as I was. Like, like Zipper Lex makes you feel unstoppable. You're like, whoo, like shoulders up, bad bitch energy. You're just like, wow, I'm on top of the world. I'm amazing, everything's great. Like, that's how you feel, especially the first five months. Uh, it kind of dies down a bit, but yeah, like I don't have that like unstoppable confidence like I did, but I still feel confident and beautiful and love myself and all that stuff. But it's just like, it's a different energy. Getting off was quite the experience emotionally, with my mood, mentally, but physically, nothing. I didn't get sick, I didn't feel dizzy, I didn't feel anything, I just felt like, you know. Oh, I got my energy back. I think Ciprolex made me drowsy. It made me tired because I found that I was always so tired and I thought that was just the first three weeks to a month and it just kind of kept going and then I just got used to it. But now that I'm off, I have so much more energy, so much more motivation. Like, have you noticed how much I've been posting? I got my drive back. I have my work ethic back. And don't get me wrong, Ciprolex was great. It improved my quality of life. I loved it. I stand by it. I will probably, I don't know, I will maybe end up on it again at some point in my life. For me, Ciprolex gets me through periods of my life. Some people need it long term and that's okay. Some people need it for 20 years and that's okay. I do not consider myself to be depressed. So anything that Ciprolex helps me with, I'm working so hard on myself to do that for myself. And for people who don't know how to do the work on themselves or don't want to, Ciprolex is great. It's beautiful. But right now I just feel like in order to perform my best in my work life, in my social life, in any area of my life really, it's best that I get off it. So I got off it and I feel great, I feel great. I miss certain parts of it, I do, I really do sometimes, but to me, um, I'd rather feel like myself again and I do, so yeah. So I just wanna remind you guys, I'm not a doctor, I know you know that, if I was a doctor, my room would be way nicer, my camera quality would be way nicer, um, very grateful for these things. They're beautiful, don't get me wrong. I'm not a doctor, so do not look at this video as me recommending or telling you what you should or shouldn't do. I know you guys are not stupid, but for the sake of YouTube, I should probably just say this, you know? Don't listen to me as a reliable source of information on the drug. Go to your doctor, contact your physician, do what you gotta do, you know? So I just wanna help uh, you guys with my experience and what I've felt and so that you guys can kind of know what to expect when getting on or off this drug. Once again, if you want to hear about getting on it, I do have a video on that, check it out, but I'm officially off Ciprolex and it feels good. So yeah, I'm gonna take my vitamins for now. My stomach is rumbling, I hope you didn't hear that. I'm gonna take my vitamins for now, drink my water and mind my business and be myself all 2022 so i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye guys